Okay, so we got a 2001 Chevrolet Prism. Same exact car as a Toyota Corolla. Toyota actually makes this for Chevrolet. And what we've got to do today is put this catalytic converter on it. So this has got a uh, catalyst efficiency problem. So order the catalytic converter. It uncouples from right here. You can see the flange. And then uh, we're going to have to cut the pipe here. So that is what we are going to do. Uh, of course, we've got to disconnect the O2 sensor also. So we shall do that. So let me get set up. And we'll get started. Okay, I think the first thing I want to do is... Uh, since it's all solid steel, because it's still hooked up, let's get this O2 sensor off here. Try not to twist the wires any more than you have to. Now, make sure that, that it's supported. It's, still, it's got a hanger here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I'm going to cut it about right here. I think I'll probably do it. Yeah, yeah. Get that. Hopefully, I brought the right socket. This is the kind of work that I normally don't like doing, but this guy really needs some help. So, here I am. Make sure you guys can see all this.
I think you can see that. So far, so good. Okay, so hopefully you saw the coupling get hooked up. I'm gonna have to get an Allen. Actually, you know what? I wonder how tight they've got that. If they don't have that too tight, I might be able to grip onto it. But... And I'm gonna. You, you typically don't, I mean, a lot of people will put these straight down, and I mean, honestly, it doesn't hurt nothing, but things will hit it, and, and you'll never be able to get them off, so I'm going to, I'm going to angle these like that, and you know what, just to make sure that I got the right size, I'm going to take one of these off and carry it over there with me. Try to tighten these up evenly. <clears throat> that should do it. Now to put the O2 sensor, if I just stuck it in right now and started turning, the wires would be really, really twisted. So I'm going to twist them. 
the opposite way I'm going to screw it in. That's not too bad. And that's it. New catalytic converter. Now let's start it up and see how it acts. I'm going to clean this mess up and we're going to hook the scan tool up. Alright, car's running. I don't hear any exhaust leaks. So we're going to let it get up to operating temperature and then uh, I'll come back and we'll take a look at the O2 sensors and see how that new catalytic converter is working. Okay, if you look at that top uh, O2 sensor, that's sensor 1, that's the uh, pre-cat sensor, the bottom one's the post-cat. You can see how even the, the post-cat O2 sensor is. This one here. That's what, you're, that's what you want. So after the catalytic converter, the O2 sensor should be nice and smooth. Like you're seeing right there. And then you should have your up and down, you know, uh, reading on your pre-cat. So that's a, that's a good indication to catalytic.